Is that important? We have nine lights and six of them are turned on, three of them are turned off. I can almost see it being some kind of progress bar of how far I've, of like which things I have and haven't successfully repaired throughout the game. I can see, I can almost see them doing something like that. Yes, I will climb. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's down. But also maybe that way? No? Broken. The sewer pipe 03 might have a small leak. Oh. Broken, broken. Right, because it's flooded on the other side, which means we can't go that way. What? What do you have over here? Emergency outflow override. In case of an emergency, press the lower water levels. Gate hold time 20 seconds. Well, right now the water levels don't seem to be that in need of lowering. What the hell? Notice. One button equals two gates. Broken. Gates one through three and button two. I've been kind of wanting to say this for a while, and I haven't really vocalized it yet, but it, it keeps coming to mind. Does anyone get the feeling from looking at the uh, writing in this game that it's not... It, it seems like not the type of handwriting a person would have in real life. It seems like the type of handwriting you do when you're trying to draw on a computer, like with Microsoft Paint or GIMP or Photoshop or whatever, like if you're like using a mouse to draw words and like it's really awkward and like kind of neat and kind of sloppy in weird different ways that it's hard to explain but like there's a there's a different outcome you get for, from handwriting versus like computer like trying to write with a mouse and stuff like that and i feel like a lot of the writing in this game that's done by hand i think it often looks like it's done that way and that's been standing out to me a lot one button equals two gates gates one through three and button two are broken only gate four works. Okay. One, so each button has to go to two gates, but three gates and a button are broken. So basically button one has to go to gate four as far as I can tell. Other than, yeah, it's just this is just that pipe puzzle we do all the time where you just toggle the directions as they feed back to it. Alright, so you go red or blue. Let's say we do red. Red from this would go to this guy. Then red would take me to that guy, which would go to blue, blue. Sure. Um. Oh yeah, they're all hooked up for button two. Are they all, or button one? Do I have to divert two of them to two of the broken ones to button two so that gate four can work? Because it only have two things on button. I think that might be what's going on here. Maybe, possibly. Before I break something, let's just save. Okay. Um. Man, there's a lot to look at in this thing. How would one control this? Uh, so as far as I can tell, you can't control these two on the left. And gate one is hooked right into those, so I don't see how you'd ever get gate one out of going to button one. So I think I specifically need to make gate two and three go to button two, so that gate four can then work uh, based on the one button two gates rule, apparently. Dude, this is going to red. My plan was to go through there. That's a problem. That can't work because these both feed. This feeds into red. The gate three. So I can't feed four, uh, gate four into red because then it won't reach down down to get button one. So let's do blue. Blue leads to this guy. Can I make that lead to gate one? I wish I could stand at the direct right height or center of the screen on this puzzle a little better. Um, 
blue goes on a nightmare path around the entire map. Oh my goodness. That's hard to follow. Let's see. So if this thing's set to red, it goes down to that guy. Which then... Blue goes directly to button two. But if it's set to red, it would go there. Which then feeds it... Oh, Jesus. Back to button two, it seems. Oh, it goes under it. There, so that, wait, makes you go to gate two. Red goes to this thing, which then goes to blue, two. Even though it seems like, doesn't the red option go to there? It goes red, but maybe it, maybe it comes out, no, even, even blue would make it go somewhere else. I don't... This is hard to look at. Uh, let's switch this to blue. Blue takes this to that guy. Can I make that go where I want it to? Kind of. Not really. That can, that can lead all the way back to that if I switch to red. Blue takes to to gate two. This is... Uh, oh boy. This is the opposite of... Uh, of cable sorting porn. Like, this is... This is a tangled, absolute nightmare that hurts to look at, and I am having so much difficulty processing what I'm looking at. Uh, shit. Shit. Let's just see if I can get you to go to gate two, specifically. So you go to red. I can make red go to blue if I want to. Maybe I'll do that. There we go. Next, you go to this guy directly, which I can make go red or blue. Let's see, right now it filters to red. If it goes blue, we go to gate one, so I need to make... I need to make the red option go somewhere else. You're set to red, which takes you there. You're set to red, which takes you directly to button one, so that's not okay. Let's go to blue, then. This blue takes you down to this guy. Shit. I lost it. So, red to red to blue. Down to this guy. The blue takes you up to this guy. Set you to blue. There we go. Okay. So now I need to make gate four go to go back to one again. That's going to be harder than I hope for it to be. I mean, that's how I get this one to go to gate one. So is there a different way to make gate three off of this? So this go it goes into this, which goes to blue, which goes to red, which goes to red, which goes back to there. So I could... Can I, yeah! One, two, two, one. Yes. Now gate 4 is connected to button 1 and the rule is being applied and the only functioning gate hooks up to something correctly. I don't even know if that's actually the right answer, but that's what I hypothesize being the right answer based on the rule we're given. So hopefully that's good. And I'm just gonna- okay, I'm moving away now. I don't wanna look at it anymore. It's tangled nightmare mess of wires. Hi. That's gate 4, which I just turned on. Gate hold time is 20 seconds, so it'll be open for 20 seconds, and then it'll close again, I think. I think, I think I'm supposed to be running for it right now, but I kind of want to keep exploring. I assume I can keep pressing it whenever I want to. Hello. Uh, locked from the other side, huh? Oh, I've been here. I remember here. Sewer pipe 3 needs a crank. Where are you hiding my cranks? Ah.
Sure, hope that was a good idea. Oh, you must give me access to the door that was locked. Can you just open, please? Go I don't want to go all the way around. I think this way is faster at this point. I think I just fixed sewer pipe three. So maybe that one door opens now. What's over here? Just a way down. I almost fell to my death. That doesn't look so good. So here's gates one and two, which are open. I can't open them enough for myself, but they're clearly open, so that's how the water's getting through right now. Meanwhile, this, this side has no water flow at all. Is this the room we saw from... Yeah, the, the other side. There's the fish. That water... Does no... Oh my god, that water looks... Does not mesh at all. Look at those, like... There's like... There's like... It has... That water has mohawks. Oh, weird. That water totally has mohawks over there. Alright. Interesting. Okay, so when I press the button, this will open for 20 seconds. Or, more specifically, based on how long that took, I think it will open slowly. And then when it's done being opened, finally, it will then sit there for 20 seconds. Before beginning to slowly close. So I can go that way. But... If I go that way, I'm trapped. Because that door closes behind me, and I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of the many point of no returns in this game where you then can't go any further. So let's check out this door that I think I opened. There might be a small leak in sewer pipe three. Yes. Why is there... What's happening here? There's two lights? Why is there two lights with that one being green? Um, I fixed the sewer pipe because I got the crank. You're green, as if to signify that there is not a flood, but you're not the you're not by the door, and the one by the door says that there is a flood. And I'm not used to there being two lights. I th I think these doors normally have one light, don't they? Or am I crazy? Have I gone full crazy? Green, because yeah, there's a weird like double light system going on. And I turned that, and I heard the sound. I heard a sound cut out when I turned it, as if to say that the, the uh, is that the key? Oh, that's the key that gives you the shortcut. Ah, I might as well grab it just so I don't have to go the long way around anymore. There must be something going on around here. So I closed the sewer pipe three. Oh, can I go through here? Worth checking, because those definitely open a lot in this game. There you go. Is this just the on off button for that switch and the one presumably on the other end? Yeah, you definitely hear flow the moment you turn it that way, which is where it was. So it started off with flow, and now it doesn't have flow. Do you open? Nope. He is not for you. Here's where the murder track, the murder train comes from. And these are both green. I'm not sure. 
it's ever th this seems to point at the idea that turning off sewer pipe three will fix the the leak problem, and then you can continue forward. But I've done that. I think I think that's all I can do with sewer pipe three, and we seem to still be stuck. Curious. Uh, maybe I'll check out the back control room or do a few laps around just to see if there's any weird details I, I'm missing. Alright, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, so I'm gonna go back to plan A. This mess. Running, 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 running. Quickly. I forgot, what's that red thing on the ground? Ow. We're fine, it's not even on its way, it's not even stopped yet. Just a fire hydrant. Okay. So this is gonna trap me here. Goody. I have taken a habit to uh, trapping myself in places where I don't know what's gonna happen once I'm inside, so... It hasn't killed me, it has killed me actually. I was gonna say, it hasn't killed me yet. I'm like, it's actually killed me several times. I just magically keep coming back to life because of video games. It hasn't canonically killed me yet. Ah, there it is. That's the sound of it closing behind me and trapping me here forever. What's down there? I could survive that trip if you want to go down there. I could, I could easily squeeze under this thing and then we could just slide down this thing. And I could easily slow my descent enough that it'd be safe. But my but I'm a character who can't crouch. What? Climb. Come on, man. <laughs> Hit. Oh, I wasn't looking up enough. Whoops. My bad. Forgot about steam ladders. Where your looking direction is so significant as opposed to just walking towards it. Like, for me. The way more intuitive system is that W is up and S is down on the ladder. Whoa! If I look down and press S, I go up. Because of how much it's just completely uh, wrapped around your looking direction. Yeah, we, not a lot of... St the steam ladders don't really come up very much in video games anymore. I feel like nowadays they're handled pretty differently. Oftentimes exactly how I'm talking about. Where one there's just a dedicated up and down button. You're free to look around wherever you want and, you know, not stare straight at the ladder. Keep out. Oh, they're... Oh, they're gonna keep me out. No, gotta, gotta get my way in there now. You... Are you taunting me? <laughs> Wait, is that... I thought that was the thing I needed to continue, but I think they're, they're just... It's just another joke. It's a little go-kart. Open server 10... Kilometers. Oh, open sewer, 10 kilometers. So if I can find a key or something, I can open that probably and get inside. And that's probably it. In fact, that screams like person hiding a key under a doormat, basically. Yep. Exactly what it was. Is that a point of no return? This ladder. Ow. <laughs> oh. Not great news. <coughs> Holy crap, how long do I have to turn it? Oh, did I make it? <coughs> what? I, cl I closed it. Why am I still dying? Let's patiently wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish cranking it, but let's just wait for me to heal on my invisible health meter. There we go. It was not closed all the way. Did I do it? I did it. Okay, we're good. They sleep in a room that's that close. Damn, that's that close to your. And they sh oh, they shit right there too. Wait, they shit directly into the pipe that... What? 
So they shit, okay, they shit directly into their own mushrooms, which they also keep to the open air, even though it can kill them. But they also make the coffee out of them, it seems. But these are unplugged, but also, how, what do you plug these into? Is there even a... There shouldn't even be outlets down here, should there? I don't think I can fit these in my pockets. Do you need I to reload now? Stahlberg Mushroom Book. Can't carry any more of these. I still have nine packs of batteries left. That mushroom... That mushroom company fella is still doing that science thing. But I think there's something better than those green slimy glowing shrooms. Some guy found blue ones. Hell yeah, blue slimy glowing shrooms. Maybe there are yellow and pink ones too. Well, the guy didn't remember where he found the blue ones. But damn, those must be some magic shrooms I had a... I had a flu, but when I took a sniff of a blue shroom, the flu was gone. Damn good stuff, and they aren't even toxic. I mean, I welcome non-toxic shrooms, but he shouldn't be that... He's a little quick to be psyched about every type of shroom he finds, considering how some of them could be so... So... So bad for you. The little, you know, you know, the deadly ones. What do you plug your laptop into, anyway? Your eight, your eight, your is it KC laptop instead of HP? What do you plug that into around here? There's like no outlets, but you have a radio, and timers, and a microwave, and a brewing thing. And how many sewer people are there on this game, by the way? We ha we've caught in the wind of the idea that there may be blue shrooms. They'll never suspect I was in there. Even though I touched all their stuff. Well, that's suspicious. Now I feel like I'm sneaking into the beginning of a James Bond level. Y'all want to play some Goldeneye? Oop. Oh. Ah, it always bothers me when loading screens surprise me because I'm always like, ah, oh, do I need to double back now? Like, am I, ah. I never went all the way upstairs. I, I gotta check, right? Can I not go over there? You blatantly can't go back over there. The limitation of how you walk around. Really? What am I standing on right now? Oh, the light. Ah. Uh, it was upstairs, though. But, like, this was... Fr this is, like, framed like a secret, though. Like, it was in a sneaky spot. And maybe all that was waiting for me up top was a dead end. Okay, I'm on the same side as the fan, which is probably not great for me. Let's not hang out in there. Right down to the sewage again, huh? Nope. Didn't think it was going to open towards me. Well, now we're in the same hell, are we? Looks like I'm not going that way, then. Got a bust busted-ass doorway. We got a door that should open when I get there, if there is a crank. Oh, yeah, it's there. So how about down here, then? Can I not go any further because of the water? Or is it safe? No, I'm good. So how much levels over here then? Same box as usual. A broken pad. A door that doesn't open. A tool buddy box I can't open.
Not seeing anything to do here. Maybe that key existed somewhere? I don't think it's here. Maybe after I go through this flood door, I'll find the key. That looks bad. A lot of steam discharge. No? Not this time? Never entirely sure what'll count. All right, let's try opening this. So do you stay open? You do, okay. No stress there. Oh! Ooh, I did not know what I was walking into. There's no floor there. <laughs> oh shit. Like, let's walk up to this rail and see what's around here. Uh, my death. Oh yeah, this is the place I was looking at through that slit. Now we are going down there. That looks odd. Alright. Ooh, it's a big zone. It's a real big zone. Full of... discarded catwalk and scaffolding. Oh, another construction in progress location. A huge one. Look how high these ceilings are. I feel like I just stumbled into somebody building some of the later locations from inside or something. The game inside, not just like the concept of being inside. What did I do? Okay, I just turned on the elevator. There's an elevator attached to the scaffolding. How do I call it? Now the generator's on. I may have only set it up so that it'll work later when I get there. I don't see a call button. I think you only operate it from the inside. So if I get all the way up there, I can ride the elevator up and down from that point on. Probably. That's not going anywhere. This is all gated. There's trucks. Trucks means road access, so if I got the doors open, I'd be free to go, but we know that's not happening because, I mean, what game do you think we're playing? Have you been paying- have you been paying attention? Why is it- why is there a gate going all the way along the entire wall? Why would that be necessary? Wouldn't that just make it a bigger pain in the ass to do construction? Or is- or is this side- or is the other side already completed? It might be completed, judging by the scaffolding. Really? Really? There we go. If only our character could hold a flashlight and look at the same time. Sister in report A-42. Uh, the Stahlberg Bank is still clearly lobbying against this building project. Now most of the project is on ice until the question of funding is resolved. We tried to tell them how close we are to finishing this project, but they still think the cistern is a very high security problem to the bank. They don't seem to understand that it's a bigger issue if this place gets abandoned. The Bergman Group needs money to finish the work, but they froze the bank account and stopped giving us loans. The Stahlberg Bank has received the support of a number of influential people required to pull this project down. We either have to stop work or start looking for outside investment. Rebuilding ev elsewhere would be costly, and the Bergman Group doesn't have much money left. I don't think I can fit these in my pockets. Looks like letters. Is that, wait, is that an upside down Facebook logo? That's the Facebook logo upside down. Why? That's bizarre. Intriguing. 
Hello, a little worker man in there. Just a bizarre little man in there. Can't carry any more of these. Nope. Clock's on. Is that what time it is, though? It could be like 907, maybe. Oh. That's busted. Or it could be that maybe the gen. Like, for all I know, the generator wasn't on. Was that light on before that's out front? Light was already on. Uh, it doesn't look like it's just attached to the generator, so I think this was already powered on, so that might be the actual time. Wow. So it's after dark now outside, isn't it? Wait, does that timeline match up, though? Because we were just at the Walter building. And it was, like, the middle of the day outside. So maybe that clock's wrong. It's definitely not 9 a.m. Not unless I somehow went through the entire night at some point and didn't notice that the entire night happened. There's a ladder. I think that's just so I can do this. Well, that's not good. Come here, you awkward source physics objects. We're gonna do this. You like it or not. There we go. That's the staircase in action. Eh. Oh! Why, though? Why must you hurt me, game? <laughs> Does that give me... I might want to do that. Nope. I was like, maybe I want to go up there. No, there's no, re there's no reason to do that. I can just walk there. And be similarly unimpressed with what actually is over there. Okay. So don't step on a wood. You'll fall. And that might have been their warning. And maybe now they'll kill me that way. If I do it again. Maybe I'm at risk of falling to my death now. Saw. Right, we've reached the elevator, which had not the big of a deal because I've already been down there, but you know, it's an option. You're turned on now. Manual toggle auto up, auto down. Ready to operate. Motor one, motor two. On, on. Okay, uh, auto down. No? So I guess I just have to hold it, or? Okay. So I think I need to climb higher. But if I want to climb higher, one thing I want is I want access to those boxes. Which I can load inside this thing. 